This is a message to the women specifically. Sorry, ladies, I'm a little bit of a mess right now. I'm trying to keep it together. For my ladies, okay? For my ladies. For my girls. Hey. <laughs> For my ladies. For my ladies. We need to understand how men think. And we need to understand how women think. And we need to understand how different we think from men we're very you know women are very you know sweet and kind and well not all women some women are full of envy and and uh the jezebel spirit and that's a whole other that's a whole other thing uh those women are dangerous not very good for society but for most women normal women we want simple things. We want nice things. You know that song, you are 16 going on 17. Do, 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 do. Be Kenny and careful, blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. And then it goes on and then something like, the boys will want to uh, write on your blank page, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well. 17 because girls when they are turned 17 back in the day they're almost 18 so they're obviously uh fresh pickings for husbandry right so they need a husband um and um or well yeah at the time they needed a husband because obviously you know what were you gonna do you can open a bank account you can't work you couldn't do anything you need a husband to survive right you needed a man to survive and because we needed men to survive for so long like without a choice like men didn't give us a choice we had we were forced to need them or would be prostitutes that's why prostitution is uh the oldest career in the book because as women you were you weren't allowed to do certain things like yeah you could you know go work for a seamstress but you couldn't do anything that would give you power right and let's say, you know, you were a, a rich prostitute. Well, you would only have power to a certain degree, right? Because you're still a woman. So women haven't really had much of a chance, you know? And what I'm saying is, is that, you know, a lot of women today are, are, are still kind of in that mindset of like, oh, you know, I want to find a husband and all that other stuff and blah, blah, blah. And that's great. Family, husband, beautiful. But women need to understand now that you have to also be the protector and the provider. Men are not going to be the protector and the, and the provider unless they directly benefit from you. Men will not protect you. Men will not care for you unless they directly benefit from you, right? I mean, I'm sure there's some, you know, charitable men out there, but let's, let's be realistic, women, you know? <laughs> we don't have 50% of the children being born without dads for no reason. So my point is, is that women need to start owning their own properties and need, and they, we need to own things in a way where men don't have their name on it at all. Um, you know, I know it can be very difficult sometimes, you know, when, especially if you're in a rough situation with a dude, best bet is to if you're not currently in a financially rough situation and you're not married you don't have kids you're not stuck to a guy listen ladies if you're a young woman you need to buy your own property because at the end of the day 25 years goes by you know and you know shit changes and your husband is going through a midlife crisis and he's gone to the titty bar too many times this week, you know, shit might change and you need to be able to take care of yourself because as we've seen for so long and for so many countless years and through so many different women who's had their lives completely destroyed through messing with men and stuff 
There's no reason to wait on a man. Stop waiting on men to do what you need to do. You know, I understand you when you need help. And this is not a bashing men kind of thing. I'm not trying to bash men. I'm just saying that men always make it so that women are in a tight position and then they they use things against us oh well uh you know if for instance like you know i was just i was writing on some like a comment thing there was like a bunch of comments right and this guy was talking about like oh well then like why does she stick around then and blah 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 you know and just take his resources and da 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 and i was just like because we live on a safe planet where people have to pay to eat she can't just literally this is what i'm saying is like men will purposely put you in tough situations so you have to choose between starvation homelessness or sticking with them right and so because so many women have been put in that situation it's very important for women to start thinking about this look at your grandmothers look at your moms look at why they didn't have success the most of the reason why they're miserable and they didn't have any success was because of the men in their lives they didn't have their back they didn't take care of them most of the time women you know they when they're with when they have a man in their life that doesn't love them she usually ends up dying before him because she's the workhorse in the relationship and it's like if you're going to be a workhorse you might as well do it for yourself you might as well have everything for yourself a message to my women please 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 start working on getting your own property okay even if you buy like i did buy a raw piece of land for nothing you little by little you clear it out but at least you got something under your name okay little by little clear it out but at least you got something under your name i cut every tree by myself no no man helped me cut these well except for one i paid this guy to cut um but that was different i just paid somebody to cut a really large branch that i wasn't able to cut it was too high up but besides that you know, it's okay to get services. <laughs> but besides that, I cut every freaking tree myself. I, I I literally sit here, you know, just little by little every day. You you do what you get you do what you can do, okay? You need your own. You need your own. Because the thing is is that no matter how many years you spent taking care of that man's house, how many years you spent taking care of that kid's children, when the divorce comes, he's gonna think, Well, I earned this. And I had this and he's not going to consider, he's not going to consider you and what you have. He's going to want to leave you with nothing a lot of the time, right? A lot of the time. And I don't know why dudes want to do that. They want to make sure like she's left like in a worse position than when he met her. I don't know why guys do that. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. But, uh, you know, and I know not all guys do that. I know there's good guys out there somewhere, right? You know, but you have to think about the male's nature a lot of the time, right? They're, they're very, they're conquering conquest nature, you know? Women, women don't really have a choice anymore. Especially here, you know, in the West, you know, it's just like, you know, you hear about all these all Western women, Western women, they're all boss babes and they don't want to cook and clean. It's like, that's, that's actually not true, actually. Um, you know? we 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 just know that we have the capacity to do you know with what m men can do and i understand those videos where you know the guys want to prove their point and say yo ho no 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 whoa da 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 and they're like hitting fucking huge fucking rocks and like welding shit underwater i get that i never said men are are useless right so what i'm saying is is that when we we see how they are right they we see how they are i'm not saying that we don't we don't need them i know i i know i know we need men but 
with what great power comes great responsibility and all the power they have, but yet they've been very irresponsible with it. And then they wonder why the, the birth rate is declining from Asia to the West. Okay, it, it, this has nothing to do with Western women. This has to do with men and women. Okay, L just, just look at South Korea. <laughs> is that a Western country? No. This, this, this doesn't have anything to do with Western women. Okay, and, and I, I want people to get that straight. Women need to start, unfortunately, providing for themselves and protecting themselves. And this is another message I want to put out here for my women. Every single woman in America needs a gun. Every woman should be armed. You need two guns. Get two guns, ladies, okay? Don't buy the Louboutins. Buy a gun. Buy a gun. Women need to protect themselves. All right? That's my message. That's my message for the ladies. Buy your guns. Buy your houses. Buy your cars. Have it all under your name. Have your own assets. Have your own assets, ladies. Because the men don't, the, the men, the men don't want, the, sadly, a lot of men don't, don't really care. Especially, like, here's the thing. Let's say you have kids with this guy, but then he finds another woman, like, you know, 12 years later and has kids with her. He's going to care more about those kids than your kids. Okay. He might, he might care about them, but he's not going to care about them at the capacity that you know is proper. Right. So my ladies you need guns my ladies you need houses my ladies you need your own vehicle my ladies we have to we have to unfortunately we can't rely on men and it sucks you know uh, i mean some women can if you have good good family but a lot of women can't right so you know, for those women that don't have good fathers or good family or good brothers or good men around them, you know, you need to, you, there's no choice but to do that. There's no choice. Men don't give us a choice because it's either abuse with a roof over your head or you work your ass off. And, you know, we all have choices to make and, 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 and there's no reason to judge anybody for the choices they make because we live in a place on an earth where food is not free, water is not free, driving is not free, getting to work is not free, nothing's free. So if you're gonna start, you know, judging women for what they do, well, I'm here to change that. I'm here to educate a little bit, okay, my ladies? I'll tell you some of the biggest problems I've ever had was because of a man. And I'm not saying I never had problems because of women. Women are just as trifling. They can be. But fighting a man sucks when you're a woman. Fighting a man sucks because they know that they have strength against you. And it, and it sucks that they've used their power against us to this point. And so the best way we can combat this issue is by making their protection and provision minuscule so that they can actually have the the time to think about actually healing and 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 becoming conscious and more and, and value things other than money and and and, and and sex okay it, it sucks it sucks that it has to be like this but my ladies please especially if you don't have a lot of good men around you you need you need protection and you need provision you need to work you need, you need to work your ass off and it just sucks that it has to be this way but something's wrong with a lot of dudes and i don't know what it is you know, maybe I'm just getting older and I'm seeing things and it's different now that I'm older, but waking up in this reality is strange and it's uncomfortable and it's, uh, it sucks. It sucks, you know, 
And uh, I just wish it wasn't like that, you know? I wish it wasn't like that. And, you know, to all those good men out there, you know, this, this, this is a, you know, I'm not saying this because, you know, I, 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 I hate men. I, I'm saying this because I know a lot of men's nature, you know? So this isn't to bag on men. I understand a man's value. I understand a man's strength. I understand what happens when he abuses it though. And that, that's, uh, that's the world's biggest problem, men abusing their power. So yeah, my women out here, you know, you're gonna stop having to get those Louboutins. You're gonna have to stop getting your nails done. You're gonna have to stop doing, doing your hair. You're gonna have to stop looking pretty all the time. Eh, maybe not, maybe you make enough money to do it all, but for some of my ladies in, in more harder situations who didn't have a family family backing or anything, you know, it, it gets rough, but better for you to be an old age with uh, assets on your belt than nothing and a man who just left you. So that's uh, that's all I have to say.